Lithuanian presidency in our organization took place in challenging and difficult period. But due to determination and strong leadership of our Lithuanian colleagues, we managed to achieve a lot. Member States elaborated a renewed strategic vision for the Baltic Sea region. We did so focusing on four visible, achievable and practical priorities of our presidency, namely sustainable development, green tourism, civil protection and crisis resilience, as well as fight against the child trafficking and labor exploitation. The Lithuanian Presidency also managed to start implementing the CBSS reform as envisaged in Borchum Declaration of 2020. We worked hard to increase relevance, efficiency, transparency and visibility of the organization. Secretariat thanks the Presidency for close and fruitful work. It was true trust and collaboration building in action. Now I invite you to see a few examples of what we achieved during the Lithuanian Presidency. The Regional Identity Unit has taken important further steps to enhance youth input on policy making through the Baltic Sea Youth Platform and the Baltic Sea Youth Dialogue. The Youth Platform has brought important structure to youth involvement in regions' policy making processes. And youth has also had an active part in many CPSS activities during the past year. We have also continued our work on promoting culture and our common heritage all around the region through our collaboration with other cultural actors in the region. The task force against trafficking in human beings focused on preventing and combating human trafficking for labor exploitation. Intensive research work was carried out, practitioners and labor actors were trained on victim assistance and prosecution of labor exploitation cases. Based on the achievements made nationally and internationally, the CBSS member states declared strong determination to eradicate this crime and signed a joint statement of commitment to work against trafficking for labor exploitation. The past year brought unprecedented challenges, but it also displayed the commitment and the perseverance in coming together to protect children at risk. Under the strong leadership of the Lithuanian Presidency, the expert group members discussed the impact of COVID-19 on children in our region and shared best practices to address concerns. The Presidency also brought attention to the emotional well-being of children and child trafficking in the digital era in two high-level conferences. The pandemic put an extra strain on civil protection agencies. To help them deal with it, we, together with our Lithuanian colleagues from the Fire and Rescue Department, gathered experts from CBSS countries to compare lessons learned on how to carry on critical civil protection tasks, even during the pandemic. We also conducted a seminar on nuclear risks, which reminded us again that we need a common approach for better preparedness. We also kicked off two new projects. One on helping children and youth to be active contributors in building safe and secure society. The other on creating university course on the same topic. Sustainability was high on the presidency agenda 
Last year, we launched a handbook on localizing sustainable development goals, a seminar on the green transformation of the resource-intensive sectors provided an opportunity to discuss industrial symbiosis. Sustainable touristic destinations were awarded at the Baltic Sea Tourism Forum, and the expert group on sustainable maritime economy worked towards sustainable coastal tourism and clean shipping. Baltic Sea Labour Forum continued to promote sustainable working life, and in the field of science and research, we successfully supported academic mobility for young researchers through the Baltic Science Network.